Once upon a time, a very, very long time ago, in the year 2013, is what Dana Reilly said so well a few months back, big data is like teenage sex. Everybody talks about it. Nobody really knows how to do it. Everyone presumes everybody else is doing it, so everyone claims they're doing it. <laughs> now, it brought back some sweet memories, so I got intrigued and I started to investigate. <laughs> First thing I did is I Googled the term. It got me 13 million hits, 13 million hits on big data. There's more big data on big data than big data itself. <laughs> it all had the air of a big marketing gimmick, really. So I dug deeper and I figured out it involves a lot of mathematics, a lot of statistics, really, which is when I understood that it truly was a marketing coup for and by mathematicians. But things are much worse than that. Who uses big data today? Mainly executives to spice up their PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Just because they're surprised about the big data inside, they presume everybody else must be surprised about it. No. My dear executives, you know, those people who really work in the field, emphasis is on really and work, know about what's happening in the field. Let me give you an example. Visa, if they were to leverage their big data capability on your shopping behavior and outages thereof, they would be able to predict divorces with 70% reliability. 70%. When I heard that, I changed to MasterCard. And I signed up my wife to Visa. <laughs> Actually, I got her two cards to get a second opinion. And now, fasten your seat belts. There are people in London who would respond with a no before you have even posed the question. <laughs> this is like back to the future. You know, with this type of relativity effect, I was able to interview thousands of people and finish earlier than one that I started. <laughs> Now, because I'm in the optimism group here, I decided to interview some kids. And uh, I asked the kids what it is, what is it what you would like to have in your dream future city? And at the end, I asked two crazy girls to show me what would you do to make people more um, happy? So nothing of that is staged. It is uh, completely genuine. The kids have not been briefed. Here you go. Rainbow. No. Have more sofas. Yes. Really more sweet ice cream. Cars. Six. Six. Uh, 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 to have two loves and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it took a kid six years old to realize it doesn't make sense for London to have just one eye. <laughs> Thank you.